Travels fast in this business. Now you're free to work for me. Hmm? Well, I do need a job. I want you to work with me on my new spring line. Come by this afternoon. I'll give you my sketches, but keep them under your hat. They're top secret. Not for long. P.H. DeVille, mad scientist, evil genius, junk food connoisseur. Spare me the sales pitch, cousin. Begin phase two, and remember, for this job, we need a plump puppy. Hey, guys! I think it's got a new job! Doesn't work for Cruella anymore. I'm toy with my emotions. I'm fragile. And so are you. No, really. She just got rocked right over her. Isn't that great? a design flaw. Not to worry. There. Robo really should work perfectly now. Time to begin Operation Fashion Storm. <laughs> what a fake. No one will ever think you're me. <laughs> Open like a, 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 and then this camera. 
robot popped out of his neck and, and then he's, uh, he's, he's, he's a robot. Hmm. Of course he is. We're all robots. <laughs> oh, Bucky, this is the plot from that movie we watched last night. Grand canine from outer space. I know that, but that was a movie. This is reality. See for yourself. Watch. Any second now, a camera or a laser gun. Who knows what'll come out of his face? Hi, Rolly. <laughs> Maybe a panel will open on his back and a big metal claw will pop out. <gasps> I bet it's Cruella sailing in need of work. We gotta stop her. <laughs> if you're not using yours. Is something wrong? What is that? Uh-huh. Oh, my. Oh, no. Cruella, my missing designs. Um, say, did I mention we're having a really good week at the House of Deville and you're rehired? <laughs> Why should I go back to work for you? I have a job. Uh, I'll uh, give you a raise. 
is. Make that two bases. Now we can throw in a new door. Well, see you tomorrow at work. Ciao! Well, our work here is done. Have we learned anything from this? No, but Cruella has. Maybe she needs a little more time to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving steam milk. My feet are burning up. It must be a hundred degrees. I think they invented summer just to annoy me. Ah, uh, up hole. My oasis of calm and quiet. <laughs> yourself you impudent little pup i was swimming here before you were born then it's time you got out you're getting all pruny <laughs> this is regal bottom <laughs> well i never you are the rudest most annoying youngster i have ever met well you're just a whiny old windbag no oh, you haven't heard the last of this <laughs> oh sure What's she gonna do? Report us to our parents? But, Dad, we just wanted to go swimming. They splashed me. They assaulted and insulted me. I demand an apology. We've got as much right to use Hiccup Hole as you do. You don't own it. Well, that doesn't give you the right to splash her. She was just trying to enjoy a nice, peaceful, quiet swim. But what's the fun of swimming if you can't whoop it up? We all have different ways of enjoying ourselves. And you had no right to call Lucy names. You all owe Lucy an apology. Lucky, you most of all. Uh, for the record, I never actually splashed Lucy. <laughs> but this is so unfair. Whatever happened to justice? Whatever happened to honor? Whatever happened to that little piece of fat you get in pork and beans? We won't apologize. It's a matter of principle. Oh, and do the rest of you feel the same way as Lucky? I'm throwing my support firmly behind my bullheaded brother. Me too. I guess. Now, did I make it clear I didn't actually do anything? Ow, 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 ow. You would have if you'd ever actually made it into the water. Well, I didn't call Lucy any names. I didn't hear you jump in and defend her either. You're part of this spot. Deal with it. Well, until you all apologize, Hiccup Hole is off limits. What? You heard me, go fair! Isn't that a bit harsh? But fair. Very fair. No apology. No Hiccup Hole. I hate it when I have to get tough with them. Oh, Pongo. What? Boy, it's hot. Oh, I think my nose is melting. My aura is dehydrating. Well, I don't care. I'm glad we stood up for our principles. Oh, could we have saved our principles for a day when it wasn't so hot? Don't give in so easily. There's more than one way to keep cool. Follow me. Well, come on! <sighs> a swamp? This is your better idea? May I remind you of a few of the dangers? Like snakes and alligators and malaria and quicksand and deadly swamp gas? You're one of those glasses half empty people, aren't you? 
Stop worrying, Spot. Where there's a swamp, there's water. Yeah, and leeches the size of cocker spaniels. Yeah. Wow. You were right, Luck. Who do you take a pull? We saw the road. is ready to apologize. Broly, you can't give up now. Hiccupole isn't just a pun. It's a symbol of freedom and justice and, and home and country and, and, and apple pie. Would that apple pie be all about? Come on, we have to stick together. Cruella's pool? Are you crazy? Cruella's not even around. I don't know about you guys, but this opportunity is too good to be wasted. Come on! Right. You know who's gonna find us just as soon as we're in a vulnerable position. Yet somehow it never seems to stop us. <laughs> You checked all the systems. Checked? Double checked. We did it twice, too. Ooh, good. I want nothing left to chance when I test my new state-of-the-art swimless swimsuit. The House of DeVille will free humankind forever from the tedium of actually swimming. Now stand back and observe, genius. <laughs> Willa doesn't look like she's in a hurry to leave. When she sees us up here, we're sitting ducks. Speak for yourself. Just lay low, you guys. She can't see us from down there. I think I'll practice my swan dive. <gasps> what can we do now? Um, think happy thoughts? <laughs> You're not a happy thought. I didn't know we were having a pool party. <laughs> so nice of you to drop Next time, call ahead, and I'll plan a little... Spin. Get those pops! Sometimes it's good to be the chicken. Fools! Take a nice, quiet swim without being bothered. I hear ya. Not that I bothered her, by the way. You've been abundantly clear on that point. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm ready to apologize. But what about our principles? You know, I actually don't recall principles where it's okay to call people names. Interesting concept, though. Hiccupole, and hey, a pup's got a splash. That wasn't a splash. That was a tidal wave. Okay, so maybe I overdid it, and I shouldn't have called you names. There, I said it. Excuse me? Said what? You know, that thing I was supposed to say? I may be a cranky old goose, but I am not hard of hearing. I believe what Lucky is trying to say is that his ability to understand your needs and your point of view was hampered by his own self 
Okay, okay, I, I admit it. I'm sorry. Well, then I guess I accept your apology. 